the official first show yeah. of the Return of the Ghetto Legends Tour. Gonna be What's up? in Make It. Make it! 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 We make it, Georgia! We make it, Georgia! Say what? Say what? What he make? You're crazy as hell, boy. This is the only place where you be watching the news and everybody in the neighborhood got shot. <laughs> With a revolver. You like these niggas. <laughs> we in Vegas. Make it, Georgia. Where we at? Where we at? We in Vegas. Hey, I'm Carlos Miller, and if you haven't heard, Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer lasting erections. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. Blue Chew's tablets helps men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all form of erectile dysfunction. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code 85SOUTH at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping, that's bluechew.com, promo code 85SELF. That's right. That's bluechew.com, promo code 85SELF to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Bluechew.com and go get you some. I said bluechew.com and go get you some. Go you make love to your lady. <laughs> For a long, long time, you don't hit him with that wood. I swear to God, I ain't lying. Sexual stimulant. What it do? Make it me get hard. What it do? Sexual stimulant. What it do? It make it me get hard. He got left like this. Yeah, <laughs> fucked up with a half a tank top on, nigga. This what? one, this one, a cell phone bill was six, seven hundred dollars a month. Ooh. Exactly. How did they find? Hey, hold up, wait, pause this. This too freaky. Somebody get pregnant off this. <laughs> Let's get into the J-O-N original so we can get this motherfucker. Yeah, 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 that was too nasty. That right was yeah, this nigga right here. Just I don't know what you trying? Nigga trying to fuck a pretty V on the low. Nigga slipped that one in. Nigga been having that shit in the cut for years. He's like, when I get my shot, <laughs> I know well, just how to approach. Hey, what? Hey, you look like you ready to pull your dick out of the right here. They can try to slip that in. That nigga was like, here's my chance. <laughs> Fuck J.O.N. on it, man. Man, nigga, I don't know, man. I don't know. This, this sounds like thing. the extra, extra boy you get the extra man on on Mario, nigga. <laughs> This is a casino hey. level on Sonic. Hey. This is our new face for Sonic. You remember this? You did a show, it was T.I., uh, Tokyo Jets, and you performed. Hey, this sounds like the shit that they play when they put you on hold when you call asking where your GED is. <laughs> that was during the heart of the pandemic. The heart of the pandemic is still hey, trying to work. Do you know New Face? Huh? This nigga was everywhere. Like, when you, your first show that you ever did, he probably was there. I just showed her a moment. Yeah, he just, he just showed me. Word. Yeah, he, he just showed there. me. He was there. New Face was there. You know he, who this nigga is. He, he is a nigga in the Illuminati, man. The story. Ain't he no just, doubt about it, man. I'm telling you. He just he be in the right you. place at the when right time. When that man let us in the Illuminati, they gonna open the door. A new face gonna be standing there like, oh. <laughs> I've been courting you niggas for years. Bro, you think well, they gonna let us in? That, yeah, new face gonna oh, be there. Right, new face gonna you be there. Going? You say you ain't going? Fuck, yeah. I got to see. I had some chances to go. I said, no. Oh, so really? Really? And you ain't going? Oh, nice I'm not going, nice going now. Really? <laughs> not going now. Bro, you turn your chance down? Yes. Uh, you said chance is, so you turned down more than one thing. Nigga. Repeatedly. Damn. Yeah. You turned him down repeatedly. Why you ain't tell me? I know, right? Don't you do that one, my right? nigga. Because y'all niggas might have been like, call him back. Yeah, no, nah, we didn't talk you through that one, bro. Like, call, him back, see, call him back, see if he's You know what I mean? That's like when you send a nigga no. to the party to see if it's jumping before you go. We're like, yeah, man, you go ahead. Go in there, bro. See who in there, bro. <laughs> see who in there, my nigga. <laughs> nah, I look at who got it without him. 
<laughs> I look at who got it without him, and I'm like, I can be happy right here. It, right, yeah. I can be happy right here. Yeah, that, it without, I, just, I don't I, need all that. I don't extra. like to sell your soul part of it that they say you got to do. Like, they, like they, they, everybody's soul ain't work out. Y'all ain't got like no petty soul box that I can use for See, what? It's about volume. It ain't about quantity. It ain't about quality. It's about quantity. quantity. See, the thing the is, more souls they get. The it thing don't matter is, if you, which, if you a good soul, they really want you. And, and that's you what I'm saying. That's the thing. You don't really know what you need your soul for. So a lot of motherfuckers been sold that shit. And they need it back. Now, now they don't know that the shit yeah. that got real. It got real. You Niggas need was that ass better with their soul. Yeah. Right. Nigga, you already you already sold your soul. What? You better your soul again. And the it's, price went up. You know how mad you would be. If the market jumped and you sold your shit, you got out of crypto too quick. You got out of crypto too quick. You sold your soul too early. Nigga, the price of souls that went up 300%. Nigga, you want to give me $25,000? Nigga, souls is up, right? <laughs> what if they switch it and they don't want souls no more? They were like, we don't even do that no more. We want your feet. <laughs> Both feet. Kind of. Both feet. You gonna be a blade running motherfucker. You gonna be Tink Tink. Tink Tink, for yeah. real. Yeah. All the way. Live. <laughs> Let's see the smoke. It's you don't want it, you don't want it, you don't want it. But look, I have a question about the, the smoke. The So if people smoke, do you get high off like all that? Oh, like, what, you, all what? This, what's going on? The little, you see that's coming towards you? Like, let, me, let me put this. Is that in you now? You. Oh, no, you, oh, you mean contact. Mm -hmm. you, you can, mean, but not like this. It's too Not open unless you space. country Wayne. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> country yeah. Wayne get high through his eyes. Yeah, Country Wayne. He has just, to. He country has Wayne would just fuck with low. He has to get high There's no way. No it's the only, only motherfucker that come on here and get contact high. Ain't no way. It's too much space. You get to get contact high, you got to be like in the Kia Sorrento or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. You got to be in that. small. What's the call? A Fiat. Them hamsters was yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, it's a fear. He a soul. He a soul. A fear. Yeah, that's it. Who came in there looking for the hamster car? That's what I want to know. Hey man, y'all got y'all got that hamster car? Oh, nigga, oh, clearly that shit worked because you see them everywhere. All the way, yeah, for real. <laughs> want to know if people get high out that little contact? You feel high? Like no. Oh, okay. You won't. It's too much open space in here, so. And they got ventilation. I don't know if this shit works, but it's in here. Yeah. It, it look good. Yeah, it look good. This it's I don't know if it really works, but you straight. This shit ain't never been turned on, to tell you the truth. I know. No, I'm just playing. I feel like I'm about to have a seizure with this beat on. It's the epilepsy. Yeah. Yeah, the epilepsy. Bro, play me something to coincide with my epilepsy. Hat. epilepsy. Oh, we're going rock and roll? Okay. Yeah. I fuck with it. This, this that shit kind of hard. Yeah, yeah, that's what it sound like when a nigga about to get his revenge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> every, movie. <laughs> when a nigga See a lot of niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when 50 Cent started getting strong after he got shot on Get Rich and Die Crying, that's what they should have played this right here. <laughs> this is definitely a, 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 a shady aftermath. Uh, G-Unit beat. This is definitely uh, a... Oh, sweaty. Man. I bet he didn't know that I had the coffee when it was off me. <laughs> <laughs> that shit hard. I like that shit. Mystical, look at this. This is mystical for us. Mystical. Gunner. Gunner won anything with a guitar. Bust rhymes. Yeah, that's a good one. Twister. Ooh, Anybody twister. wanna come in the motherfucker talking to Yeah, that'd be dope. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Pretty V, she could do this shit because she don't even have to speak, say no words. She rap. <laughs> Pretty V will fuck that up. Pretty V will fuck this up. She got the best noises. She got the best noises. She got the best noises. She got the best that was hard. No, we need part See, two. See, I can't even do it like one. Chico, though. Chico, you did it faster than me. That's hard. Yeah. You can keep that going. Uh. <laughs> See? That shit right there call that bitch gibberish one. And we just keep making them bitches over and over again. They, they already doing that. What was what, what was the little Corvette song? Damn, we at that phase of life. What was that? The song that Corvette had on the song. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> Check engine light. Some shit. <laughs> we, we them niggas now? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I ain't dead yet. 
I know what the yeah. nigga was trying to say. At least I told myself I did. Minute, minute, minute. See, yeah, so you ain't. See, minute, 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 fatherhood. See, my daughter's 12, so she keep me abreast of all the language that I don't understand. So she had me up to date on what the nigga was, was doing well, what on he that was song. Saying. Nothing, but that's oh, the thing. They just enjoy the fact that they can say nothing and know the words. Bro, don't listen so they to do it no the music okay. that you like around your kids, man. That they, you like? Yeah. Don't do that. What they do? They gonna make you not like it. What he said? It don't matter how cool this shit is. Really? That's what we're doing? That's what we're doing? <laughs> Looking pretty V. I'm, I'm riding with my son. the smoke, pretty V. What, you got a contract with somebody? You trying to... Yo, stop smoking that Pretty V. <laughs> All right, here, we put it out. Pretty V got a contract with, with the, the people that make them goddamn commercials for the cigarettes. <laughs> she put the weed out. Don't like, smoke. Put the weed out, man. <laughs> and Clay about to roll up again. I just see him sucking yeah. on one. one. He smoked blunts yes. after oh, blunts. Yeah. Oh, he you going, do? Yeah, he's yeah. celebrating. Yeah. I'm oh. trying to get an uh, Olympic started for these niggas because I'm telling you, I be the, I fund them. Like the niggas that I come Chicken, around, I do, but I don't count myself because I'm around these niggas. Like one blunt <laughs> lasts me a whole fortnight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Was that 40 days? A, a good fortnight, man. <laughs> I blunt. thought fortnight was a weekend. Uh, it don't matter. Whatever it is, I don't know what it is, but I know it's more than what it is. I thought it was be. a long weekend. I think it's just a weekend. <laughs> Whatever it is, it'll last me a fortnight. One blunt, nigga. I hit, Three, four times, I'm good. These niggas be smoking like they not gonna get to smoke tomorrow. Yeah, I be trying to get high enough to forget some shit. That's a good. That's a good point. Do you get high enough to forget important shit or shit that you just don't want to remember? Which one is? It? Oh, I try to get high enough to enjoy the important shit. Okay. But high enough to forget all the shit that I ain't give a fuck about. Okay. You know how people be like, and then we gonna catch up and we go do this, and then it's like in your mind, you're like, nope, not fucking with that. But you're not letting them know that. We do that for you automatically. <laughs> Some shit that you're not interested in, you will totally forget about that shit. Like, man, I had call you, why you call me back? I didn't give a fuck, but the, well, you could just say, I was high. That's the nicest way of telling somebody I didn't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, if you I, ever ask anybody what happened, and they were just like, man, I was high. They, they didn't run out of shit to tell you. Yeah. That's the truth. But see, that's a part of it that fuck with me. Like, the, the shit that didn't make me forget be shit that make me say, you know, I need to put this shit out. Because when you walk around the house for 30 minutes looking for your keys with your keys in your hand, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're like, you know what? Ah, yeah, this ain't. It's Nigga, I was so high the other so day, that? my fucking that? remote so fell in the couch, and I was that? like, I gotta buy another TV. <laughs> Because I looked for the remote for the longest, and I was like, I'm just gonna buy another TV. <laughs> But then I hit the weed again, and that bitch was like, reach down in that bitch and bend your fingers. This was right when you had the TVs pulled up on your phone. Then you was I had the looking. bitch in the cart. <laughs> I'm just going to unplug this one. Pretty B. What I do? Hold up, before you even say that, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. Oh my God. That's what we do. We like to build some suspense and then reintroduce you to what we had introduced you we to. We was already, yeah. You feel me? We love that part, though. First of all, welcome back, oh, Chico yeah, Bean. Man. Yeah, 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 85 yeah. percenters yeah. have been concerned about you. They're going to talk yeah. about you. Your thighs is out, man. Uh, listen, man. These, these, nice, yourself, man. Yeah. these are some nice shorts, man. These shorts, you know what I mean? you got in your pockets, nigga? Uh, you know. Man, you know what? My wallet game then went up since my mama passed away. I feel like... I had more stuff in my wallet now because yeah. you got a lot of paperwork and stuff to deal with when you go through becoming that level of a grown man. Yeah. Like, I was a grown man before my mama passed, but now I'm an adult male. Yeah. Like it's, It changed you, bro. It changed you completely. Now I walk around yeah. with a fat wallet in my pocket and all that. Like, Don't I'm know who really, the new rappers are. No. I mean, I still keep up with the new rappers as much as I can, but I've been listening to a lot of the spinners recently, <laughs> man. I've been riding around listening to, how could I let you get away? That shit just make you fit. See, look at Cat. Cat, I, next thing you know, my shorts, you see my thighs now, I'm gonna come back here, ain't nothing gonna be showing but the, my ankles. Nigga, I'm gonna have <laughs> Cat shorts. Man. And that's the day, man, to all the 85 percenters, man, I love y'all, thank y'all, man. Like, seeing all of the messages and everything that y'all sent, yeah. you know, telling me how we got y'all through tough times, man, 
it, it, it was, you know, it was beautiful. And just people walking up on me and just saying, hey man, where the fuck you been, bro? I'm like, nigga, my mama died. <laughs> like, bro, like, niggas be like, oh, well, all right, I was just making sure you wasn't just bullshitting. I'm like, nah, hey, nigga, my mama passed away. Mm. So, you know, you gotta kind of go through a whole different transition when something like that happened. Los, you understand, you know, you was a, a, a big beacon of, of understanding and helping me get through the process up until this point, because it's day to day, but, do you know what I mean? Like, just all the love that y'all show, man, and all the messages and all of that. I mean, just, I got thousands of messages of just people telling me how them watching us have helped them through all types of situations. And it just made me realize, man, I didn't put a lot of good energy into the world. So you got to receive it at that time because, nigga, that shit was fucking crazy. Like, she was here, then she wasn't no more. Like, it happened like that. It wasn't like no situation where we was able to, you know, really build up to it. Like, she caught COVID. She had a pre-existing condition. She caught COVID on the 27th. She died on May 4th. So it was like, just like that. And then the whole process was just, they change you. But just, you know, everything that I've gotten from this family right here has helped me tremendously, man. So, you know, I just got to say to all the 85 percenters out there, thank you. And, and everybody that's asking me, man, you still with the 85 South Show? Nigga, that's like asking if JG still with Wentworth. Nigga, it just... Yeah. Come on, man. You can't. Come on. I can't leave this shit, it's my shit. Like, nigga, I can't stop. I ain't no quitting. I wish I would be like, man, I can't do this shit no more. Joe be like, bullshit? <laughs> bullshit, you can't. <laughs> yes, you can. I got you for 10 more records, motherfucker. <laughs> you sign here for 10 more records. So it's just, it's beautiful, man, to just be back in the, the space, but just having all, and I just want to tell everybody, man, that thank y'all for being there, you know what I mean? Like, it was beautiful, man. Like, the service was, it was tough getting up to that point because I never had to plan a funeral before. And the first one I had to plan was for my mama, nigga. So it was like a hell of a journey. But that that service, man, to have all y'all there, Los got up and spoke, and I know how tough it was for you, being as though, you know, you had went through that before and, and how the relationship you had with my mama. And just when I seen Joe there, I was like, oh, nigga, it's real. I didn't think Joe was coming. I mean, not because, he don't love me, but just because Joe don't give a fuck about nothing. <laughs> Joe don't give a fuck about, when I seen Joe, I was like, oh, this shit is real. Joe came, Cat was dressed like he worked for the funeral home. <laughs> you know how I many niggas I had to stop asking from asking Cat for obituary? Like, man, man, I asked your man over there for obituary, my nigga ain't getting it. I'm like, man, that nigga don't work for the funeral home, man, this is my man, Cat. <laughs> so, oh, you know, it was it was beautiful, man, but, you know, rest in peace to Wanda, man, and, uh, you know, to everybody, I appreciate all the love, man, but it's, you know, we gonna keep pushing, because that's what we gotta do, man, so love yeah. all the way across Welcome the board. Back, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Well, on a lighter note, man, oh, man, Clayton English is in here. He's a father, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is the club I wanted to get into. <laughs> Why? Nah, I'm just playing. I'm glad. I'm glad it's. I'm glad it's there. But you know, it's. It's. That's what they don't understand. Like you just said, they be asking you, "Where you been? Where you at? Life. Life be it happening. Has, they think we just exist on this screen. <laughs> like how when you little, you watch cartoons. Like life be happening, right. bro. Like for all of us. So right. yeah, I don't think they get that. If you don't see somebody, it don't mean. Some they don't exist no more. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. All so. the way. Hey, I'm Carlos Miller, and if you haven't heard, Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer lasting erections. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. Blue Chew's tablets helps men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all form of erectile dysfunction. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code 85SOUTH at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code 85SOUTH. That's right. That's BlueChew.com, promo code 85SOUTH to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Bluechew.com and go get you some. I said bluechew.com and go get you some. Gonna you make love to your lady for a long, long time. You're gonna hit her with that wood. <laughs> <laughs>
I swear to God, I ain't lying. Sexual stimulant. What it do? Make it me get hard. What it do? Sexual stimulant. What it do? It make it me get hard. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. And 85 South Show listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com backslash 85 South. I'm Clayton English. Is there something interfering with your happiness? Or is it preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. The service is available for clients worldwide, and you can start communicating in under 48 hours. Get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. It's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help line. It is professional counseling done securely online. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Visit BetterHelp.com backslash 85South. That's BetterHelp, Better, H-E-L-P, and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. So let me ask you this. As Hold a, up, as a, listen, we got to do this. We got to introduce... That? Oh, well, yeah. We got to introduce. She, she, she we just no had a lot of catching up to do. She don't need no yeah, introduction. What they do. Look, she, <laughs> she do so she much, we all going to introduce her. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> one, of, one of the most entertaining ladies that's in the <laughs> entertainment industry right now. If there was ever a female version of DC <laughs> that's super hype, that keep it crunk, that you ain't never seen in a bad mood, you get what I'm saying? Uh, entrepreneur. Uh, she has thousands of products for sale. City trends uh, everywhere. Come on. You can find her at Walmart, Target. Come on. Uh, she is blowing up social media with sketches with Desi Banks, the crazy girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, come Peanut on. Peanut and them mama. Every day. Yeah, we would literally be here. Look, she be in movies and shit, <laughs> wilding out. All that. Uh, BET Awards. Keep she going. be over there with Quay Quay and them. She got records <laughs> out. She make music. Quay Quay oh, make. Now. Uh, she do shit for the kids. Damn. You the love kids. She the only person I've ever seen continuously beat the shit out of an invisible bitch. I mean, she be dogging this invisible. I don't know who this invisible bitch is you've been whooping all these years, but she need to leave you alone. All the way. For real. That's Paul A's girlfriend. A word. Exactly. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Pretty V is in the trap. Shit, did we name everything? No, she got the most stuff. We gonna let her name. Bro, she got weave. Uh, eyelashes, <laughs> she got Bluetooth speakers, uh, them little things that go on to keep your head, she got some she of that. She got some shit you can stick in the shower when you listen yeah. to music. Yeah. She about to come out with her own Socks. vibrators. I she got great <laughs> news. Rose. But she, nah, nah, I'm telling, I'm telling. Bonnets. You know what I mean? She got the vibrators coming out, nigga. You got bonnets? Bonnet. She been selling bonnets yeah, and, and roads. Did yeah. Monique throw, throw a little wrench in your thing? Uh-uh. You felt some type of way? About no. Business booming? We, 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 you got airport bonnets. Airport bonnets. Peter Mom bonnet. Throw it on roads. Call it a day. Welcome to the trap, pretty bitch. What they do, y'all? This ain't your first time in the trap, but this trap. Yeah. yeah. I, the, last, the first time it was when me and me Simone went. Uh-huh. Right, it was on the other side mm-hmm. of the town. Yeah, thank y'all so much. Y'all know what time it is, what they do. Yeah, What's going right on, man? What they 85% do? has been wanting to hear from you and catch up with you and see I'm what you got yet. going on. We slid it now, I came in. Now, you from Miami. Miami. All the way from Miami. Now, mm-hmm. now, a lot of people probably don't see, like, we real in tune with culture everywhere because we've yeah. been all over. And you let that Miami hang out a lot in what you do. Yeah. Like, do you feel like that's something you do because you supposed to, or that's just naturally, like, you can't help it? Natural. I mean, I, my parents are Caribbean, so I, I was that girl growing up to be a part of that side of the Jamaican vibe, but I wanted to go down to, like, the Polka Beans, the Karen City, like, Liberty City, like, Opelika, like, I wanted to get into that vibe just to see, like, how everybody grew up, because I, I didn't grow up with a, a golden spoon, but I grew up, you know, structured, and I was like, bitch, I'm the third city girl. Like, I want to go down to Miami to see what that's about. Trick, where Trick at, where Trina at? So that's why I have friends like that that grew up 
in those 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 areas in Miami, and I was like, shit, You're I want to. dope ass I want to. I, <laughs> I want to go down there, just see. So I was always, I guess it rubbed off with him with my homegirls, and then I had my little Latina friends and shit like that. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. see, I just found so it's I'm a natural Jamaican too, nigga. I'm, yeah, we in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, yeah, we are natural vibes. You you got everybody. to be Jamaican too. You ain't clear. Everybody yeah, got to everybody be Jamaican. Yeah, everybody got to be Jamaican. Like for real, like I that shit blew my mind, bro. Like the night yeah. before my mama funeral, Chica, my you told told us, yeah, yeah, my uncle told me, yeah, you know your father was from the islands. I'm like, nigga, what hood is that in D.C.? <laughs> they must have tore the islands down. I'm familiar with all the hoods in the city. I never heard of the islands before. They like, nah, nigga, your father was from the islands. I'm like, which one? He's I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking Jamaica. And he was just so confused and baffled that my mama never told me this shit, but I was like, she never wow. had to. Nigga been dead since I was a baby. Right, right. So she ain't never had to have that conversation. But then I did the ancestry and did the shit and it came back. It came back. A whole Jamaican, Maybe. my nigga. So I'm walking around with a Spanish name. I'm supposed to be goddamn Buju Bean. Yeah, you Beanie Bean. Buju Bean. Beanie Bean. Beanie Bean, nigga. Yeah. Beanie Bean. <laughs> Beanie Bean. <laughs> had to change my whole Beanie Bean up. Dexter Bean. <laughs> you dig? Yeah, man. Ever since you and Flat find out y'all Jamaican, these niggas ain't been the same. Who? DC Jamaican? That nigga Jamaican. Oh, Come man. on, what's that? I don't know. Uh, yeah, they, they he took an ancestry Y'all went from not knowing to on the float at the parade. Yeah, that I'm nigga going. ain't took that right, flag right, off right. since he got them test results. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. Up I'm going over there. there. I got to go to the. I'm yeah, all you that. gotta go, Chico. The, the, it's so beautiful. I've been, been, been before. Yeah. Okay, okay. But I didn't go. You know, I went to the resort. I, the resort. I want to go to where my people is from. Yeah. Like you know, I'm going to the real Jamaica. You want to go to the Saint Mary, the Kingston, the Kingston, the Orchard, the yeah. Montego Bay. All that and get a real jerk chicken. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Niggas probably jerking all types of shit out there, nigga. Whoa. Whoa. All types of shit. <laughs> Jerk everything. Whoa. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that was yeah. Jerk but, serious. Yeah, exactly, nigga. Nigga, man, I knew what you meant. I, I feel I you, you, but meant. pause. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm the censorship over here. I'm just trying to help you avoid further Maybe complications. Don't just get all comfortable. Oh yeah, no, this might the trap. You do Let your the thing. Out. Your feet already out. Yeah, I know. You, got, like you need corn. to take your them feet them, out. These them camp counselor twos. If your feet hurt in sandals. Good camp counselors. <laughs> Welcome to camp. That'd be the type of shit your girl asks you to buy that make you mad as fuck. Man, these shit probably cost a thousand dollars. Twenty eight hundred. I love nine hundred. Nine hundred for these. Nine hundred for your feet to be the shoe. That's crazy. You <laughs> paid nine hundred dollars for your foot to be the shoe. Your whole foot is this shoe. But hey, yeah. man, can't complain. That's what it is. So yeah, it was all the, the Miami vibe, just being around in the city like that. That's one of my favorite world. places. That's the, one of the places you can go and feel like you're in another country. Miami? I yeah. just came back this morning. For real? Mm. For real? I gotta go down there. I, I like, like to go down there and stick my feet in that ocean. Yeah. yeah. Like a sea water, rub it off. Miami dope at every price point. The hood shit is for it. Yeah. The rich shit is for it. Yeah. The in-between shit is for it. Like you, you have. That goddamn airport. Nigga, that, but let me when tell you, you get in that sick. airport and your gate is at D whatever <laughs> and you come in at A and nigga you got to run through that airport. I'm like, I know why you Miami niggas is in shape and run fast. You got to get through this I airport. I think Atlanta bad. No, nah, Atlanta ain't nowhere. Atlanta got that train. Ain't no train in Miami. Yes. Except crazy. for the one Uncle Luke and them running. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Hey. Shout out Uncle Luke, man. Shout out Uncle Luke. <laughs> for real. So crazy. I be in Miami, too. <laughs> hey, that, that shit, Miami, that was one of the coolest shits that happened to me in Miami. Trick Daddy was at the strip club, fucking around with Big Mac for a while and now. Yeah. Was the Big Mac, You know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So I go to his shit, we go to the shit, man. I smoke blunt with Trick Daddy, but they was what? like, whoa. They was like, hey, I this is. I heard that was what you thought. So then this is what they said. They said, hold on. Big Mac was like, hold on, wait a minute. That ain't no bunk, is it? <laughs> and this nigga Trick Daddy was like, no, I don't smoke that around no hoes. And I was like, so you just smoke it by yourself? But shit was great. We was great. Roll the blunt. This nigga said, boy, you can roll your ass off. That shit was a ghetto diploma as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it is. I went like to you. Come on, man. That first part of the story scared the shit out of me. You yeah, thought, thought I was going to hit the boat. Yeah, yeah, I was like, no. I know better than that. I'm from Florida. We nah, know better been too late, me. though. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Out afterwards. no, no. I rolled it. I this rolled shit. it. I ain't hit, hit it. Hard. I didn't hit it with him. <laughs> but we know how Florida go. The choppers, the boat, you got to. 
You got to roll your own. with that shit to make you do, nigga. What if you, you thought you was finished? Oh, you know he was it. like, oh, slip that in there. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck around and want to battle the bitches on stage at the strip club? I can do better than that bitch. <laughs> you just tripping. Nah. Nah. Yeah, See, that that's why I don't don't happen to do me. Uh, you don't do what? Do smoke. Smoke? Mm-hmm. Have you ever smoked? Uh, it, that's what happened. You feel? That was when I was in college. Like I feel like I wanted to like fight my sister. I'm like, bitch, I want to fight you, hoe. You she just, like, girl. That just you, 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 <laughs> she said you need to go to sleep. Let her rub off. I went to bed. I was fine. The weed Got made her violent. What was you smoking? Mm-hmm. That could be scary though. What if you hit some weed and, and it, it affects it you like stop. a way you never thought <laughs> it was, would? I don't know what it was. You what was smoking K2. <laughs> I'm saying, I was smoking you know, I was trying to hit K2 the weed K2. in the club and you just dance all motherfucking night. It's something else in there. That's man. not weed. It yeah. can't be weed. That's not man. weed, bro. But you know you dancing like, nigga, I'm dancing. <laughs> <laughs> what the I'm fuck? I'm talking about to the point where your shirt sweat like you got the sweat stain on the front of your shirt. I can't stop moving though. That's that Molly. <laughs> yeah, that's what that, that is. That's, that's that's something something that Molly had you doing a routine you didn't know you knew. Oh, exactly. This nigga bust out the whole thriller routine. I didn't know I knew. That It only took me one time to do that shit. I did that shit one time. I was good. I had an eye experience. And it was, I was over with. What happened? You was in, you... Nah, nigga, we had a homecoming party at Winston-Salem State where I graduated from. We was at the homecoming party and my homeboy, my man 50, salute the fifth, he was like, man, you gotta, you gotta fuck with this shit, man. Just take it, it's a party, man. It, you, you know what I mean, you good. Mm-hmm. And Don't I'm, like, nigga, nah, nigga. I'm like, nah, nigga, I'm like, nah. Fifth a deacon. I'm like, nah, nigga, nah. You can't bring this shit up. I'm like, nah, man, nah. You I'm don't good. know fifth. I'm good, and he was there, this was so. He said, nah, bro, look, we all on it. And I looked and everybody was having a ball, nigga. I'm like, niggas is just like, I'm like, all right, fuck it, give it to me. I'll take your shit. Hold up, nigga. How was it when they looked for <laughs> I'm talking about a nigga like Zion in the Matrix, nigga. I'm like, these niggas. You are like, having a good time if you put both hands up, nigga. I'm talking about niggas was having a ball. You I'm put like, both hands up? Niggas nigga. was balling. I'm talking about, all right, so I say, all right, give it to me. I take the shit. As soon as I take it, he's like, all right, nigga, stay in my sight. Don't go where I can't see you. I'm like, why the fuck you ain't tell me this before I took the shit? So I stand on stage for a good 45 minutes. This nigga done left. I don't know where he at. I'm missing the whole party. I'm like, man, fuck this shit. I'm about to go party. Now. I'm missing the homecoming party. Niggas is hollering at me off stage, bitches and shit. I'm like, all right, I'm going to the party. I go use the bathroom. I come out the bathroom, niggas stop me. Bing, take a picture. Bet. Boom, take the picture. Go, another picture. Take another picture. One girl said, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Please, please, before you go, could I take one more picture? I'm it like, cool, flash, no problem. Wasn't it? Nigga. Put her arm around me, take the picture, they show it to her. She was like, put the flash on. Nigga, they put that flash on. Whew, that shit kicked in. <laughs> Nigga, all I heard was blum dum 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 Nigga, I started walking, I'm like, oh, I'm the flyest nigga ever born, nigga. Everything I was saying was the smoothest yeah. shit ever. It was the coolest shit ever. I'm like, nigga, this is the most amazing shit ever. I had bitches thinking I was in love that I wouldn't fuck in a nightmare, but it was just... Right, nigga, right. I'm talking about this. <laughs> The wildest shit ever. Then the only bad part was my stomach hurt a little bit afterwards. And then we having a conversation, and then I start hearing all the horror stories about how it go when it go wrong for niggas. I'm like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. I had a good experience the first time. I, I, I don't never need to do it again. Hey, I'm Chico Bean. Are you tired of not knowing what to cook when you're stressed for time? Well, HelloFresh can make everything better for you and way more simple. HelloFresh offers 10 to 20 minute meals, low prep recipes, and quick breakfasts and lunches, perfect for your busy schedule. You get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 85South14 and use code 85South14 for 14 free meals, including free shipping. You ain't even gotta pay for it to get to your house. That's HelloFresh.com slash 85South14. For example, the balsamic tomato and herb chicken over buttery garlic spaghetti. Doesn't that sound like something I would never make? It is something I would never make, but with HelloFresh, they gave me all the ingredients that I needed, real easy instructions to follow, and voila, I'm eating balsamic tomato and herb chicken over buttery garlic spaghetti, all right? I'm impressing all my women with this. HelloFresh did it for me, so make sure you go to HelloFresh and get you some good meals. Chico B told you something. See, that's why I don't do it. Mm-hmm. And I think for me, when I was in, I went to St. Augustine, you already know it, HCC, you all day. You went where? St. Augustine. St. Augustine? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, when I did it, like, I, I didn't have that experience again. It was just like, I was just, we were just smoking in school and then, like, drinking all Mad Dog. 
You that's what that's what that's what made, made you want to fight. What the fuck? <laughs> man, no. dog, you drink man dog and blame it on no, the weed. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. I think when I first did the weed, it was when I was I don't know. I was coming home from college, but when I was smoking, I was in college. I was fine. That wore off. I was like, maybe that's a little sad. First man, time, man, that man, man, dog. So but then we did mad dog. Twelve the slices weed. of cheese on a foot long sandwich. <laughs> you said you went to West. I was went to Subway. What time was it? Was nigga, it like Jesse Smollett nigga, time at night or was it? No, <laughs> this, this is so afternoon. Yeah, I ordered 12 slices of cheese on one sound. Give me some more. <laughs> you said 12? 12. You asked for 12 or right, you just the counted? Bitch tried me. Like you couldn't afford the cheese? Right. That cheese gonna cost extra. I said extra. Well, put it on there. Okay. Don't tell no, me. No, but see, she shit. was trying to include the, the cheese that came on the sandwich. <laughs> That's base. That's, that's, Don't include that's that standard. in my extra. That's that's a, I was supposed to get that. So I'm asking for extra. No, when the, okay, all right. Now see, you put some more on there, but that ain't just extra. No. Extra is access, so yeah. give me extra. Yeah. Did, how did you feel after you ate a sandwich with 15 slices of cheese on it? Probably ain't shit for three, four uh, days. But it was worth it though, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Improved my point. <laughs> I was young, my body could take it. Yeah, exactly. All the way. You, you remember the first time you got high? Huh? Yeah. How, was it a good experience? That's how they knew you were lying, because they said we ain't supposed to make you forget shit. I didn't think, uh, I didn't think I was high. We went, smoked people high school, went to a little park, smoked my homeboy, started chasing ducks. That shit was funny for a minute, and I was like, all right, I gotta go. I had my mama's car. I drove the best I ever fucking drove. Felt like I was on the video game. Like, I was hitting turns. Perfect. No brakes and hugging the road on that bitch. Like I was pumping brakes. Like I was really driving that bitch expertly. Like the nigga that was teaching you was in the car with you. Yes. Like, like, like a commercial. Yeah. BMW. Nick, yes, exactly. <laughs> this forerunner commercial is lit. But you ever thought about this though? You ever thought about the fact that you might have thought you was driving dope, but everybody else on the road. Look at like, this dickhead. Look at this <laughs> stupid ass nigga. No. Man, man, nigga, don't go fast out the road, nigga. You <laughs> mean like buddy from Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah, exactly. No, no, see, that's the thing. We let you know when you fuck it up. Because you get that test when the police get behind you. If you was fucking up, you was gonna get pulled off. Police get behind you and you high? Boy, your driving is so motherfucking impervious, nigga. You can't, I'm following all the rules. This seat belt is clicked and nobody's even in the seat. Oh yeah, you all the way. Nigga, we, we, hey, you ain't gonna say you, something was off. You saw like when you smoke weed, cause you gotta pick what you gonna do. You know what I'm saying? You already breaking the law, riding around with weed. Used to be. So, yeah, I knew I, could, I knew I could function with the, with the weed. But I didn't get high then. I just thought I was driving good. And okay. then later on, I smoked again, and I was like, oh, I was high. I just didn't know what I, I didn't know didn't how to know deal feeling. with it. Okay. And then, yeah. That's the most mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. I don't do it. Yeah, it ain't for everybody. It ain't for, it ain't for a lot of people. I don't understand the motherfuckers who be high and drunk at the same time. I was like, what? What? The I shit? think that's just offsetting. To be honest, like I think one is just one one working and the other one is just for your mind. Like, cause you, I don't think you can be. I both. think it'll balance out. Like you can still be drunk, but then if you get high enough, like you won't be like obnoxious drunk. Like I feel like if you could be drunk and high at the same time, like the high take the edge off the drunk. Yeah. But you can still enjoy the drunk part. So you so you would say that the, the liquor would need to come before the weed? No, I, I feel like you should get drunk and then get high. Yeah, I that's feel- That's what I mean, yeah, the liquor before the yeah. weed. See, that's you, how I'm high, I ain't hear that point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you smoke and then drink, that's a- You, you fuck, that's counterproductive. No, if you do it, you'll be good. Now, if you get drunk, and you a weed smoker, you get drunk, weed will save you. Weed after you've been drunk, weed will bring you back to where you need to be. See? Some some kind of way. So you balance. you right on that shit. Okay. Like, because, mm. but unless you just getting fucking drunk, and I don't understand them people that get drunk and shit, blackout drunk, like so drunk you can't function, you fuck up everybody else eating. Yeah, young nigga drunk. We yeah. gotta carry you, you threw up in your hat, put it back on, like <laughs> man, this nigga, this is a baby. Yeah, you if you being now. drunk is work for everybody else, I don't want to be around. I'm talking about when, when a nigga head the newborn. 
<laughs> this nigga, and then and then gonna say yeah. shit, try to make it seem like it ain't as bad. I spit up. No, nigga, you vomited. You a grown ass person. Ain't no fucking spit up. <laughs> spit up is for babies. I'm seeing what spit up is, yeah. nigga. I, I spit up. No, no you hurt. You hurt. <laughs> you hurt. That's Earl. That's Earl. That's not vomit. That's Earl. I, I, I spit up. Nah, you hurt, nigga. You hurt. I remember, nigga, my line, bro. We was coming back from some some event we had, nigga, drunk as a motherfucker Chica, driving. You I'm an out. Uh-huh. And uh, my nine brother, man, got the, we got pulled over by the police. And we sit in the car like, fuck, nigga, we right by the exit by the school. <laughs> this nigga in the backseat, all you hear. I can't hold it up. <laughs> as the police walking back up to the car, she shot a light in the car. She said, whoa. Looks like your buddy got sick in the back seat there. We like, yeah, we just trying to get him home. <laughs> This nigga was earling like a motherfucker. That we was so drunk, he had to let that shit sit overnight because ain't nobody want to clean that shit up. Oh, that car. Mm-hmm. Because the motherfucker that threw up don't never clean it up. No, he had not to clean when it they up the next to. day. But yeah, not when they supposed no, to. No, no, that no. That shit can't, can't get cleaned up there. You then. can't clean it. The drunk nigga that throw up can't clean it up there. Do you not That's go, the fucked up part. Yeah. That shit got to sit and get worse, and Ooh. then his ass got to come out there and see. You got the worst people. Like about the motherfucker who get pissed and drunk and don't nobody know where they belong, where they live, where they park. Who they came with? Oh, like, that's hey, the hey. word. I ain't never been who, like that. Who, uh, you ever, you, you know what? Like you ain't never been like, like just. I'm talking about fuck up drunk. I ain't gonna lie, I have. Yeah. I threw okay, up on the. Don't lie. I know. I had to think about it. I threw up on my homegirl cousin <laughs> shoulder. You threw up on your homegirl cousin. That bitch oh. wasn't your friend. Oh, God. You know <laughs> That's, who is she? I was, who is she? I was sitting there and I was just like, all I heard was a, and it was all down. So it was like, oh my God, Gina, you gotta go, you gotta go, girl. You gonna throw up on TV. I said, oh my God. Oh, Hey, you know, like but let me tell you something. The shoulders and it was sticky. Oh, <laughs> she had spaghetti straps. Yeah, show that shit. Touch her skin. Oh. One thing. <laughs> this shit went down her shirt. Yeah. Oh. But one thing about it, I can say, when you are drunk like that, you get the best sleep. Oh, my no God. Sleep, yeah. I don't need sleep nah, like that. Neither, I neither. go to sleep. You might get the best sleep. Hold up, hold, hold up, bro. Up. That Ooh, ginger bro, ale. What she said when you threw up on her, man? These girls, you don't like, even know. She, yeah, she like, she like, Vina, get out. You just threw up on TV. <laughs> Her shoulder. <laughs> I was like, bitch, at this point, I'm like, my no, mama you, calling me. You telling me with the girl that you what knew was saying, T-T? what the fuck was T.T. saying? But let me say, T.T. was drunk, too, so she was just like. Oh, hell no. T.T. was like. Bro, that's what you don't want to do. This was literally like. Oh, my God. I done seen that happen a couple times. Nigga get the early, then the nigga can't take it. And he get the early. Oh, my God. The, the, the reflex nigga, like, I can't take it. Oh, it's going to make me throw up. Yeah. You good if you don't. If you, if, if you can hold it off until you smell it. Yeah, that's Like, the, the smell will catch you, bro. Yeah, smell, like, yeah. you be like, I'm good. <laughs> and then your mouth get juicy, then yeah. you gotta keep spitting. And you keep spitting, and the moment you stop spitting, you say, I don't need to spit no more. Yeah, that it's coming. Oh. And that, that you right, that smell is just, cause you know yeah. a nigga that just ate Bojangles or something, and that's grease and stomach juice fresh. Oh. And, yeah. and nigga don't have no control <laughs> over it. It be everywhere, <laughs> nigga. Be, Mm. And this mm. motherfucker look up at you while they do it. Yeah. Ah, and this shit coming out <laughs> everywhere. Ah. I spit up. <laughs> no, you threw up, man. Man, listen. Get that shit off your neck. See, that's the thing. I can't be around that shit, man. I will laugh hysterically. I'm no help. If I see a nigga early, especially if I know you, bro, I'm not helping you. I'm gonna wait till you finish, cause I'm gonna be crying, laughing. Oh, cause shit. you see what it do to the human body, bro. You see a nigga. Oh, oh. <laughs> You can't really do me doing it. <laughs> I'll be like, bro, this nigga died, bro. He died. I can't take it, my nigga. Bro, it be funny as hell when women get drunk and throw up. The shit they say when they friends. Am I still free? <laughs> no. You the drunk bitch at the party. Am I pretty? Oh, man. We all the same. Are you man. mad at me? No. That's the one. Are you mad? What the fuck are you mad at me? You mad at me, aren't you? Mad. 
<laughs> Everybody's mad at me. Yeah, Nobody yeah, gives definitely a fuck. Mad at me. My whole <laughs> back window is covered with Earl. You can't even see out the back window. You got to ride it. It'd be them times you real far away from where you going. Nigga, you got to ride 10, 15 miles with the Earl in the car. Mm -hmm. And you do I'm not back. have a spacious vehicle. You are in one of them, what's, what's them, them Kia Fiat? Oh, yeah, yeah. Them, you in one of them. Oh my goodness. Some of them niggas oh. get so drunk, they just, they don't stop. Somebody got to knock them out. Like every time, this nigga gonna get punched. No, that's the people that don't throw up. Yeah. You got the people that don't throw up, so they just keep getting drunker and drunker. Yeah. And yeah. they drunker. just talk so much shit and, and get aggressive. Like, dog, they gonna kill you. <laughs> These people are about to kill you. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck them niggas, nigga. It's us, nigga. <laughs> it's us, nigga. I wish the motherfucker would. Right, Bro, stop hollering in that man's man, house. Fuck man. This nigga house. <laughs> Kick this nigga shit, bro. Oh, I kick this nigga shit, bro. I kick this nigga shit, bro. Fuck this nigga, bro, for real. Bro, cool out, oh, man. Fuck, Stop. touch me, nigga. Cool out, bro. Don't touch me, nigga. Cool out, man. Kick that man's table, man. Fuck this table, bro, nigga. What you think I ain't got my bitch? I got my wife, nigga. I got bro, money, cool man. Out, man. Cool fuck, out, bro. Fuck, fuck off, nigga. nigga. I got motherfucking money, nigga. Fuck that shit, nigga. Get him fucked, nigga. Cool out, bro. What's your name? Hey, man, that's that man white, That's that man white, man. Man, white, man. Man, I bet. Hey, 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 hey. Dude, why she trying to give me some? Hey, bro. Hey, cool out, man. Hey, man, stop touching me, bro. You got one more time to touch me. I'll smack the shit out you, too, bro. Bro, get your hands off me. Man, you took a shower, didn't you? I took a shower. And they gonna kill you, bro. And that's how they really be too. That shit, bro. Them the worst people, like, man. They be just like that. Ain't no way. I, that's why I can't. Once I stop drinking, I can't be around. I can't do it, bro. Drunk people just hold up. All right. You ever had a drunk bitch try to holler at you? <laughs> Real aggressive. The most aggressive drunk bitch ever. Now I'm talking about. Were you looking for me? Uh, that's what the bitch said outside the bathroom. I said. No. <laughs> I didn't even know. What are you talking about? How about you found me? Oh, this bitch is confident. Like, Man. what they say? Bruh, them drunk women be aggressive. What? They be bringing up shit that you didn't even know that they knew about. Like, your old bitch. I saw you with the little fat bitch with the orange on. <laughs> I guess this is what you like. You don't like real bitches, do you? <laughs> huh? You're like, sweetheart, sweetheart, calm down, no, 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 baby. Nah, fuck calm down. <laughs> I gave you my number four years ago, <laughs> and you didn't fucking use it. Oh, no. But now, I, I don't even remember that. No, nah, you just, what, you, you didn't up? like me, what? What happened? I got a new phone, baby, you can just calm down. You don't, people. give me your phone. Give me your phone. <laughs> I don't want to give you give, my nah, phone. Nah, give me your fucking phone. <laughs> Give me a fucking phone. Fucking phone. <laughs> Open this shit. <laughs> Fuck it. You don't need it any fucking way. Fucking black motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this girl? Nah, I got one better for you. With somebody that drunk that you love and you got to deal with them, nigga. When you dealing with a drunk motherfucker that you can't tell off, mm. that's the worst shit hey, in man. the world, my nigga. I'm right. talking about motherfuckers show up and just be like, yeah, this my shit. It's like, no, it's not. It's mine. Like, please, stop. You're going to get us locked the fuck up. I don't give a fuck. You got money, don't you, nigga? <laughs> Bail me out, bitch. She be like, you know what? I hate this bitch. I, I hate this. See, <laughs> that's uh, the worst thing about this shit. I'm telling you, man. I that, 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 you but the crazy no part is that shit is legal, man. Alcohol is we. I ain't never seen we do nothing close to what I'd have seen liquor do to people. And think about this: motherfuckers drink more liquor than they'll drink anything else. You won't drink forty ounces of water. <laughs> motherfuckers used to drink forties to the face too. Forty ounces? What? Forty ounces of Kool Aid will kill you? Oh, e, nigga. <laughs> oh, oh, English. Forty you ounces of getting, old e. you better That's off malt you liquor. No that mean it got a little huh? bit of cocaine in it. Malt. Hey, but that, that shit bad. Cause anytime you drink malt liquor, you gonna smell drunk. But you see, that's, that make you respect the people who really drink though. Cause now that I think about it, nigga, my mama used to drink two 11s. 
Oh, she nigga. Was, she was tight. I mean, for real. Mm. It wouldn't be a nigga. It, uh, take a, a tall can. That's the code and, for breaking and entering. And be straight. I'd be like, Ma, you good? Nigga, yeah. Mm. Watching General Hospital. I'm like, I don't well, know what you though. <laughs> Nigga, I'm telling you, the people that can drink for real, like once you get to a point where you can just down something, and like I see people who can drink a whole damn near a whole thing of Hennessy and no, all that, like bro, your insides that, can't be the same color as mine. You're not supposed to do that. Like at some point, and I drink a lot when I'm in the drinking space, but what's a lot though? You shouldn't be going through no bottle in a day or two. A bottle of what, what you mean? It's a yeah. lot of different bottles, man. You got okay. paints and half a fifth. A fool. Yeah, no. Nah. Mm. A fifth of what, though? It's, it's, it's What's your favorite drink? The, the, your, my your favorite shit? drink. I'm either, either I'm fucking with a whiskey oh, or you, you, a cognac. You so drink it, like an old black man. Yeah, okay. Or it'd be, you know, a Bro, this is candy. giving me flashbacks, bro. <laughs> He's just fucking yeah. with this girl. She used to get drunk as fuck and call me. Be like, I know you fucked up. And she'd be like, ah, I need you to stay on the phone. I was like, I need you to not be trying me. What the fuck? Now you responsible. What? Yeah, now yeah. you responsible. You just involved me. Now I got to stay on the phone because I feel like if I hang Damn, up and I get that call phone, that you didn't make it. Home. Yeah. How did this turn into the drunk episode? Because she don't smoke. Yeah. yeah. She don't drink either. I do drink a little bit. Where New Face at with that goddamn cornmeal? Yeah, New Face. Yeah. Little New Face came here with some moonshine. Yeah, New Face and bought some shit from Ray's Boom Boom Room. Man. <laughs> that nigga done been for real, too. Pretty V, tell us how you selling all these products, man. Because you see, we got some products and shit. I see. Give us I, some, I need give us some product merch. game and shit. How you, how you jump off all these major deals and things like that? Well, with the City Trends deal came, like, literally, I, um... I DM'd them. They DM'd said, me and made me wear them ugly ass outfits. <laughs> it's not ugly. You hey, got I, 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 the ones they wanted me to wear was fucked up. You gotta know how to put it I together. Made them look the best that I can make them look. You Chico, go you was check. dope. You yeah, I made, listen, it wasn't Man, easy. we was trying like a motherfucker. You know how it was? See, I was. To go through all them racks of keeping 100 shirts and all them goddamn South Pole jogging. put it together the best. Really, it came down to your style and being able to style yourself. Yeah, I guess a lot of dope pieces that you could put together. But they did what they wanted me to do. What did they give you, bro? You had to go. He said, that's where he made the mistake. I knew not to let them sit Bro, I felt shit. so bad, I didn't even ask them for no money. I was just like, you know what? What up, man? Don't send me that. But anywho, we DM'd <laughs> We DM'd and I was like, I want to collab, you know? I, City Trends is definitely the culture. It's all around 580 stores. So I'm like, shit, I want to just, because I've always said when I was a little girl, I want to be a face of a, a, form of a brand, brand. Right. that is known, that, you know, people get. And, you know, a lot of, you know, black folks get city trends. The lines be out of control. C-I-T-I, so I'm like, C I T I City Trends is fashion, fashion for less. less. We fuck with them. So, I just couldn't do it. So um, I tried. We I was did. ugly. What did they give you? So I'm saying the outfit that I had to put on. What did they give you? It was, I'll tell you, it was. <laughs> I seen it. I know why he couldn't do it, man. It was like a sweatsuit. And it and was then, rough. Then, then that shit had like, remember like it was print, the two pants. chains had on his first album cover? Like them chains? Yeah, yeah, like it was yeah. like that print on one arm and the other print was like the snowman. Right. I had the, <laughs> like, had the carpenter yeah. pants with the hammer holder. Yeah. They gave you old navy jeans? It was carpenter shorts. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But they got, some, they got some moments in that you could throw together and figure out. That's true. Gotta, That's why I went. When I did with my thing with them, I actually went into the store yeah. and walked around. And then I did a little video with showing people that, you know, I got to pay yeah. Jordans. Because, you know, that's really what niggas spend their money on. Like, you save the money to get the shoes and then don't really yes. think about, you Fuck know. Fuck them shoes. Yes. I'm going the opposite direction this year. I'm about to jump off some of them Walmart runners with the two straps. <laughs> Fuck all these kicks and shit. This ain't shit. Don't give me some of them two strap bitches. You gonna, you City gonna Trends has it as well because I go to City Trends, we got Adidas in there. We got a little bit of heels for the ladies. Like I said, we got. Oh, some, it's dope for the ladies. Yeah, we got some some merch even for guys as well. You just gotta dig down, see what you see. What type of face I get. You know, you, know you gotta get up in there and see what it's about. But City Trends does have a, a, a great selection. And it depends on the store too, because you know, we go in there, they rack up on something like Miami selection. The boy section got track suits. Adidas, I got my track suit on y'all section, extra small. So they got some cute little moments in there. And I, like I said, it started off with a DM. I want to collab with y'all. Then we grew to have my own merchandising stores, you know. So That's we got crazy. a whole 
brand new selection of City Trends. It's gonna be called the Pretty Pretty in the City. So we have, we're gonna be having perfume. Thank you. Oh, Pretty in the City. Yes. With the Y or the I? City Trends. You gonna spell it with the Y? Yeah. But the city's still gonna be the I? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, um, Pretty in the City, where I have my own area. So when you go on City Trends, you won't just have to find and search. You'll automatically see me and my and my boy when you walk in. And Please tell me you got some robes. That's the next thing. This is the thing. When I said to Toast Kitchens, we had a meeting. The robes that I like that I already sell on my personal page, my business page, VXL Collection, is an expensive robe. High end. You, yeah, high end. And I want that for the ladies. So City Trends, we have to still like do some work on that, some research, just to see how we could get those in stores and to match the price. Oh, that's gonna that's yeah. gonna go yeah. when you put but, them in there. Yeah. Ooh. So in the meantime, between time, we'll get some robes, but it won't be the robes that I sell, but it will still be something for the kids. Nah, but you, the hey, bonnets. Yeah. You get a robe. I'm getting me a robe. I'm gonna yeah. be like Ghostface Killer and a pretty V robe, man. Yes. Yeah, so down to the pretty V robe to the floor. <laughs> time is on my neck, and they don't even know. Yeah. So <laughs> Wonder Woman arm. <on. laughs> <laughs> This is incredible. <laughs> so yeah, we did, and actually it's so funny, uh, Ghostface, we just had, had a conversation with him the other day. Yeah, we were talking about, we're talking about robes. We yeah. were talking about robes. Me and him, we were talking about how I started doing the robes, and then I was like, he's been doing the robes, so it was dope. But yeah, it's going to be dope. September is when we're trying to get the pretty in the city going, and y'all should see perfume. We're going to get a perfume line, headphones. We already got the AirPods. We got the, um, the cleansing brushes. We have lashes. I'm designing my own sneakers, so it's gonna be really, really dope. We're just we're just, we're yeah. working. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. 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 I can see a pretty big sneaker. Yeah. The what they do's too. The what they do twos. Yeah, That's you already so know. That's so dope. The what Girl, they do. What they do. Yeah, you already know. What you got on? The what they do. See, That's dope. but the thing is, we seen. You know, if it's dope to hear this, because you know we were around when you first came in, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And to see the progression of people like you and B. Simone yeah. and Jess and everybody. Yeah, all it's like, what the fuck did we ask them? We seen them do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, know what, what I mean? We, we was there seeing <laughs> yeah. y'all progress and, 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 and just matriculate through all of the different stages. Nigga, that you're matriculate? Getting. Yeah, I told you, man. Wrong oh. black man word. <laughs> Wrong black man words. I've been listening. This now. nigga is a legend. I'm just, you know what I mean? Bitch, I'm like, trying to matriculate. All the way. But, yeah. you know, it's just dope to see you at, at the stage that you at because you know it's, it's just getting started. You're just yeah. getting to that point Thank where you. you're just yeah, starting yeah. to get we're your feet wet. We're proud of you, too. Super you. proud yes, of you, man. Yes. You know what I mean? Thank Super proud of you. Like, because, you know, we all came in, you know, we came in on the wild and outside. Yeah. And, you know, just the transition that we've all made. Like, we all, that's the one thing that I say about that show is that it's good that it ain't like a, a 360 deal to where yeah. everything that you do got to be reincorporated into that. So once yeah. you finish shooting, you can go do whatever you want to do. Yeah. So it's just beautiful to see that you are one of the ones that took that opportunity and Thank ran you. with it. You yeah. know what I mean? We just, you know, we, I, I always say to people around me, like, we just hustling at my, my own pace. Like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, let's do this. Let's jump into this. Like, I want to make sure that this is the right decision, it's the right business plan, I'm getting the right gigs, you know, because when you get out there so much, you start you start seeing yourself so much, it's like, girl, we didn't see you here, did it, and it's just be all bunched over. That's why oh, I don't do a lot of, yeah, I don't do a lot of promos on my page. I feel like you, that, that just loses like so much. Like, what's the talent? You know, you could probably talk about an edge control or talk about this, talk about that, but what are you really trying to do? Right. So that's why I only do select things for different companies and my endorsements are Bel Air, it's City Trends, yeah. it's the Mayo products. Those are only three big things I have going on as far as endorsement deals goes because I didn't want to do too much of doing the fashion overs, doing this, doing what everybody else do. I just like, I'm gonna just stay here and then when, you know, those stuff, two, three years leave and we like, all right, let's move on to something else. Then we can talk about the gap and these coaches and Michael Kors, like, cause I'm that girl. I don't care what it is, cause I make the I make the clothes. The clothes I like don't make that. me. That's yeah. smart. Yeah. You, you, yeah. Just, you got edge control. Well, with my yell. So um, I just we we just partnered up with that company. Man, and you we just, just don't think. slip that in. You got to let that is Black History right but, there. No, we'll hey see. man, Black History. <laughs> so, Pretty big got edge control. No. So look, the edge control is my yell. So my yell is in stores in Target. I'm just one of the ambassadors for the company. So Thank that's you. her edge control. But we did do a beauty campaign that was in Times Square. Um, it's in Atlanta. If you go on 85, going to the door, door to the airport, you'll see us. We're still, we're still up. So, yeah. 
Um, in Bel Air, I don't know if y'all got your bottles, but I know we asked for addresses from y'all. Oh. Yeah, I sent y'all some some pink Lux Rose. We got the okay. blue bottle, everything like that. Yeah, so. with the loom. No, we sent big bottles. The, it came with a loom, didn't it? Yeah, but okay, we sent out one because there's more that came out. So we're, 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 send us some more of that Send us a big one. Hell yeah. yeah, we, we oh, send big yeah. bottles out. That's so we have yeah. the Bel Air moment as well. So I start back working with them um, July. So that's like a, a day or two. Working with the boss. Now, this is one more thing about yeah. you that people may not know. You're one of the most spiritual people that I know. <laughs> Do you mind like opening up and giving some insight on that? Because I know there's been plenty of moments where we're like, man, we got to pray. Go get pretty feet right quick. Right. And then they run and get you and you come back in the prayer already ready, like on some beautiful. I'll be mad when Nick be, yeah, be praying. I'm like, let me go up in there and pray because he's yeah. praying. Like, it's either, it was either you or Nick. Yeah. I pray, like, usually. Nick. Right. Yeah. But um, my mom, she's a pastor. Um, you know, uh, I just grew up just knowing like who God is and who Jesus is, just the, the way of learning. The way of learning the Bible on down. I mean, I didn't read the Bible from front to back, but I know some things in it. And I think as we grow into this industry, you have a lot of people that will pull at you to do it. This is how I do it. Or this is how I do it. Well, this is what it is. And I've always told myself, I have to stand firm on what I know when I grew up from young. I don't want nobody taking control of my mind. However you go by your life feelings or how you go by your life, like knowing this makes me feel good. I'm going to try this. I got to know about because I see how God worked miraculously in my life. So I got to go with what I've learned from young, from my mom teaching me, from my grandparents teaching me. So, yeah, I am a spiritual person and I believe in God, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I just, you know, I, I walk by that. Some days, you know, I overthink a lot. Chico, no, I be, um, you know, trying to figure everything out. I was upset one season with Emmanuel because it just brought back to just different things that I've, you know, encountered from bullying and all those things. So I don't like when I'm having, you know, altercations with people or just anybody. So um, I overthink some situations, but I just know too, like, look, God here, we gonna work it out. We that's right. that's, that's my out. specialty. I know how to talk a motherfucker off yes, the ledge. Yes, he has. Cause I didn't, I didn't been to the ledge a whole bunch of times. And yeah. Jumped and caught myself like, oh shit, I'm yeah. not supposed to do that. So I know, but being as though you so spiritual, like, I always say that people don't know how to recognize their blessings. They yeah. overlook a lot of the blessings that mm. they get yep. every day. So what would be your advice to people being as though you have a connection to be able to recognize the things that God are doing in their life on a day-to-day -day basis that they might not recognize? You know, when I had COVID back in November, you know, I told myself I just moved into my house and I said, God, I don't have no furniture. I know it's going to be a whole bunch of money. I know I want my house to be right. I just closed in September. I really have to figure this out. It's just me alone. I ain't got no dude. I ain't got no kids. With a little peanut running around. That's it. So I was trying to figure it out. I got an email the next day. This girl reached out and said, hey, I have a furniture company, and you could choose whatever you want on my website to furnish your home. Because I just seen you just posted that you bought one. So I sat back sometimes. I'm like, you know what? Not to say that I was like, God, what have you done in my life? What have you done? But sometimes you don't see them, so it's by faith that you walk. You know, you gotta just believe what you say. Like, if I wanna do this, if I wanna have this 85 South show win an Emmy or whatever you guys wanna do, you guys don't know God's gonna say, well, here, Chico, here, Carlos, here, DC, here, Clayton, here's your Emmy. You have to feel it. Faith without works is dead. So, for me, how I, how I look at my blessings, I just know, like, look, like, God, you have took me out of, from sleeping on the side of my sister bed, sleep in my car, I worked for the baby, I only got paid $300 under the table for being his assistant back in Charlotte. I did this, I did that, now on my own house. Now I'm able to leave, take for Honda to Benz outside. Now I'm able to help my mom with her rent and all those things that I see that I can be able to do is by the grace of God. And I know sometimes we overthink things because we feel like we can't see him, he's not working. He is working, you just gotta believe mm -hmm. that he's working. You gotta trust yeah. the process. That's exactly yeah. why I asked that. You yeah. see, you see that, the gospel song? That turned into a whole <laughs> devotion. Right. Yeah. In just a matter of moments. Yeah. Oh, and it's, that's... It's, it's okay to pause, but never give up. Exactly. So Sometimes you yeah. gotta be still. Man, Sometimes I heard I heard a man say something so cold the other day. I just had I was just ear hustling some game. That man said, time without purpose is prison. Mm. Mm. That's remember, some cold shit right there. I remember when there. I couldn't sleep during COVID. I was just in my closet. I slept in my closet. The lights were off. Charlemagne called me. He was just like, he was like, I said, Charlemagne, it's COVID. I da -da -da -da. My products in stores. So everything's going to get shut down. Da -da -da. And what Clinton said, he says, be still. And I had, and I, the three words came to me. and says, pray, write, and create. And I've been living that since when COVID first started. Mm -hmm. And when the tour was over with. That's beautiful. So, and this, man, you listen, I understand it all the way. Like, because yeah. the transition I'm going through now is, is so yeah. different. But 
one thing I people been asking me the most, like, what have you learned the most since you know you lost your mama? And it's just for me, like I realize now that that book of my life with her in it got the end on it, so I mm-hmm. can't add no more chapters. So to anybody who still has that opportunity to have that relationship with that person, no matter how fucked up it may be, no matter how rough the patches may be, trust me, it, fix it and add chapters. Cause when it's over, it's over, it's over bro. You'll yeah. never see them again. You'll never hear their voice again in the physical. Mm. So always appreciate the fact that you can add chapters. But the good part about it for me has been, now I get to read my book in its totality. So you don't never really got to go back to the beginning while you adding chapters, cause you still build it. But when it's, when it's got that, the end on it you get to read it from the top and go all the way through and get to recognize like oh i done been built different my entire life yep. i done been you know yep. course through my life to just be this person that can handle all of these things and mm-hmm. those are the moments that make you who you are in the times of roughness or whatever it is you may be going through like you know what i'm saying just always appreciate the fact that each day is a blessing each day yeah. you wake up is a blessing man because yeah. i done been through so much death in my life but this one really made me realize like oh shit bro everybody gets out of here one day i always said that but this one make you realize when you when the she person that give you life yeah. is gone you like oh shit like nigga yeah. this is this is coming to an end, you know what I mean? And it's like, the reverse of it is like with you, when you have a son and you see now that you're responsible for somebody, like me and my daughter was already close, but now we like all the way locked in because the thing that I told her at my mother's service, like, hey baby, I know this is tough, but one day if the circle of life go to where it's supposed to go, you gonna have to do this for me. So I need you to understand that all of this is encompassed in what you got to be able to internalize even right now at 12 years old mm. yeah. you got to figure it out because you're gonna have to do this for me one day and that's just the way it goes so it's like it's that's just that crazy part about life because it's like on one end i'm like damn my mama but then on the other end i'm looking at this child who is 12 so she right. got her whole life ahead of her so mm. it's like i have to be strong enough to be able to deal with this and this and when you got those type of responsibilities, the best thing you can do is keep your peace of mind intact, whatever yeah. that may be, whether it be religion or yep. nigga yeah. hitting a blunt or just being by yourself telling everybody get the fuck away. Cause me and Los had conversations prior to me losing my mom just about cause we always chop up game about life. And a lot of the things, and I ain't never even, I didn't even tell you this, but a lot of the things that we talked about years ago just start ringing back to me like them emotions that you go through and you're like, man, look, sometimes I feel like this. This is just the way I be feeling and this is why. And I understood it because you my partner, you my brother, but now that I'm here, it's like, oh, this why this nigga said that and this why he <laughs> was this way. And it's like, yeah. you'll never know until you go through it. But if you can avoid it, man, try to be at peace with everybody that you got to be at peace with. Yeah. Everybody else, fuck them forever. Fuck them up, that nigga. Fuck you forever. And it's, and it's but literally, your people, be at peace if you can. And it's literally, the mind is the battlefield too, so that's where it plays at. You know, when you at peace, where you try to be at peace with something, then you go back to, it's like a double-minded situation. One day you good, the next minute you not. One day you good, and I remember when- Then you feel guilty about the day you felt good. Mm. Ain't that shit crazy? It's crazy, bro. And it's like, I tell people all the time, the most consistent thing that's going to happen to you in your life is your brain talking inside your brain. Mm -hmm. As we sitting here now, our brains is talking inside our everybody. Mm. So you got to learn how to navigate that shit, bro. And you got to know how to talk to you. Because you be talking to yourself crazy. (laughs) Boy, you be talking to yourself crazy. I was like, nigga, do you know I would fuck me up? (laughs) (laughs) Nigga, if you hop out my brain right quick and I beat the shit out you, boy, who you talking to? That's necessary, though. So you got to do that. It's necessary. You got to get that thought out your mind, like them thoughts where you be, you got to tell yourself that. Like, nigga, I fuck me up right now. Boy, you bitch See, that's what the niggas been telling you for years. You better check yourself before (laughs) Before you wreck wreck yourself. yourself. Come on. <laughs> little Duval told me, he said, you ain't got to smoke no weed, you ain't going to take no drugs to go crazy. You don't. It starts with that mind. You got to make sure, like you said, navigating that mind and not having so much. You look at those creators like Robin Williams and those people who suicide, whatever the hell he was going on internally and inside. But you ain't got to do smoke no blunt or whatever, do all that. It really, that mind would take you to so many places. Yeah. That's yeah. what I wanted to ask you, Clayton, like as, as a new father with a new baby, what's the, if you could say one thing, 
that you didn't learn, that you thought you knew before, but you really know now, what would that be? It's just that, um, oh, they ain't even, like, this man was breathing liquid a few weeks ago. Like, he was legitimately went from a tadpole to a whole fucking human being, and he's out here, and you upset that he crying? Like, I had to check myself, like, when he gonna stop? And I was like, man, you would cry too if you ain't never shit before. And all of a sudden, you shitting on yourself. <laughs> what is this? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Every day, like, I'm like, I get it, buddy. I got you. Like, and all you can do is be there for him in all those moments of he don't know what the fuck's going on. And that's how you build that. This is why this is my son. Like, because he be looking at me with relief, like, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Glad you figured that out, because I don't know why it keeps happening. I'm like, look, right. man. Nick can't even hold his head up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, like, pop, pray on my shit, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, I feel you. So you just see, like, I got you. And then he start getting it. He's like, OK. He's like, oh, he coming to get me? I know he going to fix whatever the problem is. And yeah. You, you just, can feel that too. Yeah. It's crazy. That shit yeah. is this crazy, man. It's crazy because you can feel that connection. Like you can feel and it and it never stopped, bro. Like oh, it, man. You it never stop. I'm looking it for you. It never stopped. Like Losa this, tell you, bro, at my mama service, like it was a moment when they finally closed the cash and me and my mm -hmm. daughter was standing there and we both was just crying. But then we just started laughing, looking at each other, like, cause it's like, we still here. We in pocket. Right. And it's like that mm -hmm. piece of Peace of mind that we both had, like we got each other. Yeah. And that shit never stopped, bro. It, yeah. From the, the moments that you building now, as they get older, you see like, oh, okay, like this is what, this is, that's the thing that make me not understand how a nigga can't just get over whatever you going through with the woman if you can. I know sometimes it's, you know, bitches just, but if you can get past that shit, yeah, you know, you know, sometimes it's, it's just, just, it's just, you just, I understand because I say all the time now, I realize like you don't understand what a man go through until you become one. Like, it, you know what I mean? I, you, our mamas are our mamas, but we never had to go with our, you don't know how your mama was in a relationship or yeah. how she acted as a, a mate. So it's like, you don't understand until you get into that position that how a nigga can be like, you know what? You'll be all right, little man. You got my jeans in you. I'm out this bitch. I can't take it no more. You know what I'm saying? But if you can, if you can get past that, then you build that connection with somebody that's gonna ride with you forever, man. Yeah. And you get that's something you can't beat through whatever. You can't beat that shit. Right. You want kids that's pretty big? Just one. I want one. Just one. Why one? Just, uh, they gonna be mad as fuck. I know. You're gonna I'm be running around. Wild, You're wild. gonna be. You have just one. You better get that little baby somebody to play with. You gonna come in the house. That mother gonna be tripping. Let's go back out, mom. Let's go back out, mom. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be tripping. Yeah, because then it's cute as hell when they two. When they wake you up at six in the morning and they're doing that. Go ahead and get it, B. Chica, why you hand them off? Huh? Because you only got one. Well, see, that's it's a little different for me. You know what I mean? It's just different. It's different. You gotta. Once you have a child as a man, you got to, for me, I always say, I'm not having no more kids until the one that I got life is secured times three. So that means that I can die, come back, die again, come back again, and she'll never need me. Damn. That's, that's, that's what it is. Like, that's I'm not selfish on the, on the, on the on second the to come back. Damn, no, I'm just saying. She's she so straight. She she's so straight. She's like, oh, you came back again, man. Appreciate you, nigga. Stay up out here, champ. Man. Secure, I want my baby to be. So where if I been, she's like, oh, Pop stay back again. Hey man, appreciate you for what you did Crazy. for me, my nigga. I'm good out here. You know what I mean? That, that's just the re cause you can't, man, it's it's a lot of responsibility, not just being a parent, but it's a lot of responsibility having to maintain relationships. Being a father is easy. Yeah, being, being a, a baby daddy is, is what's hard. Yeah, the maintaining the mm. relationships is difficult, mm. man. You got being a baby, being somebody baby <laughs> daddy way harder than being somebody father, bro. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. <laughs> Nigga, I'm doing great in fatherhood. I got an A plus. I'm failing baby daddyhood. <laughs> Boy, hey, they about to kick me out this goddamn yeah, place. Go I, I don't next. show up. I right. don't know nothing. We had the I don't pay attention. School for baby daddy, I right. go to sleep every time. I ain't took no tests. Right. I got a bunch of absences. Like, yeah, what? It's this, boy. Hey, if they gave me my final in baby daddyhood, I'm, I'm going to have to repeat the course. 
great father. Terrible man. Terrible baby daddy. That, Terrible. That's a hell of an analogy. And you, you know, even like, speaking about that, that need to go on a t-shirt. Title. You need to put that on the shirt, Lowe's. I'm a great father, but I'm terrible. a hot, terrible baby, baby daddy. daddy. That go my printer right there. Yeah, all the way. <laughs> that's the one. And speaking great of father, and speaking terrible of, baby daddy. And speaking of father, you know, how do you guys feel about that? And like I said, I always go back to those parts of being an entertainer, like we all are, but that Britney Spears situation with her father. You know, getting drugged. I don't I'm get not white hip. people. Business. Yeah, I'm not hip to that. You're not. Yeah. So, so break, break, yeah, I, break it down right here. We don't. We don't. We don't, I don't we, get all. You gotta up. understand. I don't know nothing about them white folks. We are on a. We are I ain't on, never seen nobody grown let their parents tell them what to do. We don't know nothing about none of that over there. We don't know nothing about that. So and, that's, and that's weird about white people saying this because white kids normally tell their parents what to do. I don't understand how they end up in this situation. How your daddy gonna be your legal guardian but you grown? Who the fuck said she needed somebody? So what happened? Because Her dad they, was a yeah, dad. But, yeah. so they basically saying was the, the this drugging drugged her. So of course, you I mean you can't do anything. Can't is control. this alleged? No, this is true. No, it's true. What he was giving oh, her? No, they real? family. They family then pretty much got them kidnapped Britney Spears, locked her in the basement. They gave, and gave, us, gave her a bunch of pills and took control over all her money. Oh, she can't get on birth control. No, but she's on birth control. She's on the birth control. She can't get. She want to take it out. She want to take it out. She she want to take the birth control out of her. So, but she can't. They don't want it. But that's what I'm saying. The fucked up part about my mind is like, nigga, how nice is the basement? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, this ain't, it ain't nice. It ain't nice. It ain't Britney, like, they been true, they been doing Britney regular. They got they got her like in the Pulp Fiction basement that nah, the Gimp was in. It ain't in, like, like in the she mansion had, basement. It's like, like regular mansion house. basement. Like regular house basement. A regular house basement. Oh, that's fucked up. And if you took Britney all the money. You in a regular house and you in an unfinished basement. A unfinished a trap basement. house basement. Like your basement look like back no there. No sheetrock. But, oh, you know, I, don't, I, I don't know the conditions. I'm just saying I know for a fact it ain't nice enough for Britney Spears. It's got what are y'all? What I seen the thing about this on her love. page. On her page, thank you. It looked like she is in a house and she, just dancing with her boyfriend. She has a boyfriend and all. See, she don't get to run the page though. Stay on and letting you How see. How she got that. a boyfriend and he ain't in on it? He he was pre-screened. They do everything. She can't do nothing by herself. Mm -hmm. So they trying to make it look like she living a normal life. Like, she has a boyfriend. Like, well, she did, a boyfriend she did, she, gave her she, she did say she apologized for pretending to be okay because she's not. She lied. Damn, that's probably her. That's her right there. <laughs> Hey, but on some real Brittany, shit, Brittany, if you can make it to the trap, we got you. Yeah. Uh, if you can make it to the trap. Still. No, on some real shit, I don't oh, get all okay. involved yeah, in white know, people's she, business like that. Yeah. But she whatever they do in the Britney Spears, that shit ain't right, yeah, man. What up, though? Look at this fat My heart just it's goes it's out to the head. Okay. This nigga got fat looking like you just walked here, nigga. This nigga got He got that, I just walked here. This nigga got fat in there. Yeah, that's that baby, man. That baby do that to a nigga, man. <laughs> sympathy weight. Put, I ain't yeah, need no sympathy that, weight. Nah, see, that baby put that, that, that weight on you, man. You know what I'm saying? You get the... Chad, what happened? You was working out, bro. He just made this up, bro. He ain't getting no weight. Bro, he looking like Craig walking through this bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I know, man. He on edge, it he... might be the shirt, man. You, <laughs> you might have to just stop washing the shirts and put it in cold water. I never thought like that nigga was going to turn like around and explain. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> the same weight. <laughs> now, nah, what's up, G? Hey, man, what's it's up, great man? to see you, my brother. Shout out to my nigga Chad, man. Yeah, he got Chad, one on yeah. the way, too. One on the way, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't be getting on him making announcements. I had to wait until it was on social media. Yeah. And then say something, man. Yeah, oh man. Clayton got one. Chad got one on the way. Yeah. One thing about. Shit, we gotta get some more motherfuckers pregnant around here, man. I mean, shit, Cat got one. We gotta get somebody you know, to play with Chad and you know, Clayton them kids. Cat got one. Cat, remember, Cat. I'm gonna like take one the for new the stage. Team. He had the beginning stage with a grown one, so that's a whole number. We need to put that on the show. Man. But like, the get back. Now stop bringing Kat. up that shit, bro. Kat, every time you bring that up, <laughs> can't can shorts get shorter? Nah, he be, <laughs> he be, he be like, nigga, <laughs> 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 <They> stop. <laughs> Chico thing, bro. What is it, Chico? Uh, <laughs> bro, let that shit go, bro. <laughs> no, bro. You Been whole quarantine, bro. You still bringing that up? Uh, you gotta, you gotta be there for that nigga, man. Like, okay, you, Chico, bro. you act like he a little boy, then he grow. The joke, the joke. Quit bringing up, bro. He thirty, man. He thirty. <laughs> 
He 30. He 30. He 30. He 30. I feel you. My bad, cat. Uh, you know I love you, nigga. Pretty me. It's all we you know, all over here. We working and twerking. What would you look? What would you look for in a in, 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 in a don't look at my a father. In a mate. In a mate. Mm. To, to, to procreate with. What would you, what would be some of the qualities that you would need in a man to be comfortable with letting him spread his seed in your mm. loin? Why you say it like that? Because that's it what it like is. That, bro. You see it. Put the nut put the nut in the nut. Put the nut in the seed in the loin. She go, man. Hey, man, that that's go with more, that bitty That's more vulgar than the net that you <laughs> You see, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the crazy part. The way them old niggas talk be way more nasty, and they ain't even using no nasty words. Would you allow me to spread my seed amongst your loins? I'm trying to <laughs> penetrate into the fallopian. <laughs> yeah. I would like some vagina tonight. <laughs> Might I look at your vulva? <laughs> This nigga gotta go to jail, nigga. That's how you get well, me too. Well, for one, man. you definitely gotta be like, you gotta, um, you already know, Carlos already called me out, or well, not even called me out, but speaking facts, you gotta know who God is me. Cause you're not gonna just go up in me, honey, cause soul ties is real, baby. All what the hell you going through? Do it have to be your jumping. God or just God? Um, you gotta believe in Jesus Christ. Okay, well that's more specific, yeah. there you go. Um. Uh, thank you, Chico, for saying that. Yeah, people don't you know, understand that some, people some do. Muslim brothers like that. Yeah, there's a lot of people that do. <laughs> Mess my chance. You know, whatever. <laughs> but Jesus Christ, you guys, Billy, you gotta, you just gotta be family first. You gotta love your mama. Love girls who know how to treat. They know, love their mom and whoever their guardian was. That is a female grandmother, auntie. You know, stability. I've gotta feel protected. You gotta like, you feel me? Love on me, all that. <laughs> You gotta, be, gotta believe in God, but be willing to whoop the devil out of niggas. Come on. Open the door at 5 o'clock in the morning and tell him to come out. You gotta know how to do that, too. You gotta know. If I, my thing is, the biggest thing in this entertainment situation is anxiety. Everybody has a shit, some form of nervousness or whatever the hell people go through, you know, when it comes to that. And I, and I, I think overthinking comes with that, too, because when you overthink, you cause other shit, like, as far as, now I'm nervous for no reason, like, we, now you got a boo-boo. Now you got a boo-boo. Like, girl, what's up? You know, but I think, too, if you have a man in your life that knows how to be like, you know what, go back to what's taught or go back to some form of words of affirmation or scripture or just calming you, like, that's the shit I like. Like, okay, cool. I don't got to just be in my head. Now you could talk to me. You could be like, you good, babe. Like, this opportunity is going to come or stop thinking about this. Like, that's the shit I like. I don't like, I don't care you to feed me in between my legs. Feed my mind, too. Like, it's okay, I could, I could, if I want to have sex with somebody, I could do that any day. What? But, what? <laughs> what? It's goofy, man. It's so if cool. I wanted to have sex with somebody, I would, I could do that. I could be like, not, not, hey, how you doing? If I wanted to, but it's, with, you don't find other, a lot of brothers who know how to feed your mental and feed you and, you know, it's cool. We be trying to feed some of y'all, question. but y'all be fooled. Yeah, y'all be bullshit. Y'all be fooled. They done been around too many niggas. I mean, they mind be fooled. Yeah. They know yeah. everything. You got to get some of that shit out. What if a nigga can feed your mind and can't fuck? <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs> I mean, you just, I mean, that's the shit you got to think about. Nigga yeah. might be my, he might be a mental stallion, but can't fuck for shit. Is that, does it mean more to you in that regard? Have bow. Okay, so yay. You hear this, fellas? <laughs> you all pretty beat, nigga. Yeah, you better both. be a smart, piping ass nigga. <laughs> you gotta be. You know, they can fight. You gotta, you gotta love the Lord. You gotta be able to fight. You gotta pipe. You gotta help with anxiety. And, and not even, let's be very clear. Not even only anxiety, too, because people have understand, too. Anxiety is not Be your peace. Yeah, there like, be some form of like, and not to say Chico, because Chico ain't my man, he my brother. Like, how he pulls you aside and speak and say, you know what, you good, baby girl. Da 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 woo. Just having that moment to just really know how to, like, center. Because we could be, you could have been in there. We could be all over the place. I like, da 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 No, I could not And then you could be like, find you a baby. I, I know, uh, you, you, Pretty V, you get the do the Pretty V, she get to making them crazy ass faces. <laughs> you like, you stop. <laughs> stop, you gonna fuck my nut up, all right? So just, <laughs> just, just, call it, poking. just call your significant other and saying, babe, let me tell you what happened to my little day without it being a whole other moment. Like, cause y'all be going all over the place. Just finding somebody to be like, okay, man, you know, I hear you, like, just do your thing. But see, I, 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 that comes with being interesting. Like, I think a lot of niggas 
be trying to fall in love, but you got to fall in like. Like, I don't, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I can love you all day, but if I don't like you, I don't want to be around you. No facts. That's I how I am to too. Like I got you, to you know like you. I mean? If I don't like you, then. Ugh. And I ain't the type of girl too. I don't know how to jump from dick to dick, place to place. I got to like you and I got to stay with you and I got to ride you. I ain't that type of person here, here, and all over the place. That don't work. If I, I got to really deal with you to have sex with you, I ain't a. One night stand type of person. Well, you want to be the third city girl. That's going to be rough. They fucking well, on no. the scamming ass rich ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> fucking on the scamming ass rich ass niggas. You got a different perspective. I get stuck with a city girl that don't fuck. <laughs> 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 That's how niggas gonna be. Well, thank, well, thank God, well, thank God, I'm not the third city girl. You know, yeah. Shout out to Risha, shout out JT, what they do. They can come on here too. We would love to have them on yeah. here. Come on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, shit, man, this been another rendition of the '85 South Show. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty big. I couldn't be jumping on tables and being extra, honey, because I'm because no, I'm Cliff with the red, big red doll right now, leaky. So you know. Oh, that, that, was, that was a piece of information. Don't put my head in it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know, to pull my head down into the shit. What she? Y'all know how I get out. What she? It is. Leaky for the tiki on the speaker. Without that. Yeah. Without that. Put your lights up, Drop your Instagram again. And I know where you go. Put your lights up for all my bad girl, my pretty girl out there. So my educate that woman, entrepreneur, boss, girl, pretty woman, I said that already. Yes, I'm Pretty V, you already know what time it is. Y'all follow me on the gram, YouTube at Pretty V TV. Yeah. We got a, a lot of dope moments in the work. Just shot my first movie. Yeah. Um, couple of, what is it, what, what, what it was? What it when I was in DC, Chico? In DC, you was in the in May, yep. You was in the city. I was in May, so it was in May, so I was in DC in Chico City, um, chopping it up and getting crazy, Remy Ma and Taronda and Tank and Rudd Up Russ Parr, like yeah. literally it's gonna be a really dope movie. Um, it's like American Gangster. So it showed a different range of me. I didn't, I was, it wasn't all comical. Yeah. It was some serious roles. I had to cry a little bit. So I can't wait for the world to see that as well. So we got some big things going on in the works and God is great. God is good. Well, you know, we love you over here. All the way Thank you so much. Back to the Carlos, I just wanna say I love you so much. I love Eddie's for five stars. I see what God is doing in y'all life. I see the movements is going on. I just wanna see y'all keep going. We like, appreciate this is amazing. We appreciate you, man. And like you say, like, you know, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't been through some trials and tribulations over yes. this way for real. Yes. And we still here, bro. Yeah. Like, we, yes. st Clay, we still out here. Still man. standing. We still yeah. out here, man. Me Antoine Fisher. For I'm real. Still here. I'm still here. <laughs> for real. I'm still all the way. Man, it's a beautiful thing. And we going to keep standing, man. Return of the Ghetto Legends Tour. Yeah. Coming to a city near you. We out of this bitch. Shoot some pictures, man. Rest in peace, Wanda. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just, hey, get in the pit. Sit that down, bro. We in there. Everybody come in? Oh, yeah. This is real Ghetto Legendary shit right here. When the first date, bro? Shit. Soon? <laughs> July 17th? Yes, sir. Yeah, bitch. What my nigga yeah. Chad, all sensitive Thank ass. Thank y'all. Good to see you, baby. Yes, Clay, 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 podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and 85 South Show listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com backslash 85 South. I'm Clay Nagler. Is there something interfering with your happiness, or is it preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. The service is available for clients worldwide, and you can start communicating in under 48 hours. Get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. It's not a crisis line, it's not a self-help line, it is professional counseling done securely online. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Visit betterhelp.com backslash 85 south. That's BetterHelp. Better, H-E-L-P, and join the over one million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional.